Hello, everyone, and welcome to Salty Sweet Games. Welcome to We Built This City, our special Asian Heritage Month one shot with all of these amazing people who are with me today. Um, before we get started with anything, I'd like to run through a few channel things. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, we are raising money uh, for the Asian American Defense and Education uh, and Legal Defense and Education Fund, um, which helps support the civil rights of Asian Americans. Um, with that, um, all of our donations today will be going towards that. Uh, we also have dono options down below. Uh, so when you donate, you can help support the players and also support this amazing cause, or you can throw in some complications and also still support an amazing cause. Um, so uh, go check those out down below. Um, speaking of that, um, we'd also like to say that um, historically, uh, Asian American civil rights fights have been uh, built on and in tandem with uh, Black civil rights uh, fights as well. And we at Salt Street Games stand in solidarity uh, with the protests and uprisings that are happening across the states right now. Uh, we believe in Black Lives Matters, um, and that is a very important thing to us. So definitely, um, we are here to support all of those things. Um, we have a retweet uh, tweet going around. Um, please retweet that, help support us and spread the word about this awesome charity stream. Um, and also that you can win awesome prizes. We are giving away so many things from awesome uh, Asian American uh, creators across the TTRPG space. Um, so we're actually gonna start the first one now. Um, so stick around and chat, enter those. You can get everything from uh, copies of the Unbreakable Anthology uh, to uh, Lucky Hand Dice, uh, which are super awesome. Uh, a dice bag from Hoop and Loom, um, a personal bust commission uh, from Nalu Wu, um, and a couple of other games as well. So please stick around and do all of that stuff. Ooh, we've already got our first donation in with a complication. I'm sure that's fine. We just open up with that. Um, and yeah. So you made it sound like a dice roll. We have a success, but with a complication. I'm, <laughs> I will throw in a complication at some point. Um, but um, the other thing is that this is a custom system. This is a custom lady hat, a blackbird hack that I have made uh, for a cyberpunk game. Uh, it is seeing the light of day for the first time ever on this stream. Uh, so please be gentle as we all figure this out. Um, all right, let's go around and quickly meet all of our lovely people here who are hanging out with us today uh, and playing this game. Uh, who said yes to a very last minute thing. I appreciate them very much. Um, let's first go over to Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hello, uh, I'm Daniel. I'm the co-host and producer of the Asians Represent podcast. I am a sensitivity reader and uh, a writer based in Toronto. Hell yeah. And and who are you playing today? Oh yes, I, I am playing, uh, my character's name is Raven. Raven is a free runner uh, who it is kind of like a cyberpunk bike messenger. Uh, we live in, our characters live in a day and age when uh, messages can be encrypted, but also um, caught by the corporations. And so people uh, give Raven and entrust Raven with valuable information, which Raven runs to the intended recipients with his cybernetic legs. Hell yeah. Awesome. And let's go over to Lemmy. Hello, Lemmy. Hi. I'm Lemmy. Um, I am the owner of Lucky Hand Dice. Um, we handcraft dice and we also have uh, collaborations with other dice makers who we were giving out um, some sets for the stream. Um, I am playing Sunny. Uh, <clears throat> they are a, a bouncer. Um, very kind of like uh, just really, gosh, I'm 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 nervous. I'm nervous. You're sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm um, well, nervous. It's cool. Yeah, uh, they're they're um, a bouncer. They they do security detail for a lot of different um, jobs. They pick up a lot of uh, second hand like second jobs wherever they can uh, get them, um, and uh, just. 
really likes to to meet people and to explore and um, get out of the city. Hell yeah. Yeah. Noise. Awesome. And let's go over to Akemi. Hello, Akemi. Hi, I'm Akemi. Um, I'm a uh, California-based game designer. Um, I also happen to run, help run a uh, analog gaming company with some friends called Doom Legion Games. And uh, I, today I'm playing Kai, the mechanic. She's small, tough. Um, her day job is a completely above the board uh, mechanic shop, auto shop type thing. Off hours, that's when you get to the fun hacks and questionably legal uh, builds and uh, fun stuff like that. Awesome. And last but not least, we have Anino. Hello, Anino. How's it going, everyone? Uh, my name is Anino. I use he and pronouns. Um, I'm an accountant by trade and the treasurer for um, organization known as I Need Diverse Games. Um, and then you see me popping up around all sorts of uh, TT RPG streams with various characters that are sometimes great, sometimes not so great, but uh, always experimenting. But today I am playing uh, Renato, who is a former corporate businessman turned uh, independent, uh, let's say, importer and exporter of goods. Awesome. And of course, I am Kiana. I am the suite of this channel. Um, I am your GM for today. I am the city of Archon and all of its denizens within. Um, and uh, you know what? I think I think that's about all we need to know. As we jump into, we built this city. We find ourselves in. Archon. Archon, like many cities in the year of 2062, has a large variety of areas, let's say. Um, neighborhoods have sprung up around different uh, companies and manufacturings and necessities in a uh, technology heavy age. Most of, uh, we have everything from the corpos, the large corporations, uh, which have kind of taken over most of the bureaucracy in the city um, in their lavish lifestyle, high in the towers of downtown that like to trade business. Doesn't matter who they end up stepping on on the way up. And then we have the people the rest of them, who end up in creating their own communities and, and within the alleys and streets of Archon, sometimes underground, literally, sometimes under the right, right under the noses of our corpos. Our players here, our characters today, may not be connected to each other other than through one person, Cheech Witch. Cheech Witch is a well-known tech head, a hacker for, of sorts, um, who's known for uh, liberating uh, the internet uh, strangling uh, done by the corpos, making sure that everyone has access to such a valuable resource, um, and is known to also liberate other corpos technology to be used by whoever. Um, especially for the cybernetics, which have those pesky little uh, surveillance tech attached to them. All of you know Cheat Switch to be a likable and very friendly person with many connections to different factions all across um, the city. And all of you have received a text message on your various communicators which in her signature form of several emojis and its exclamation marks uh, asked you to meet at uh, the arcade. Um, the, um, her uh, usual hangout um, 
at the Pinhole, uh, which is located in Lock Creek, um, a neighborhood that in Archon, um, which is based right around the One Canal here, um, that is generally known to be a central place for hackers to gather, do uh, jams and all that stuff. And so y'all receive these messages and let's go around and find Raven. Where mm. are you when you receive this message from Cheat Switch asking you to meet up here in about half an hour? I, I think I'm in like the middle of, I've just finished up a job and I'm in a state of like free falling. I've jumped off the top of a building with my cybernetic legs and I'm literally like falling through the air. And I hear this like pinging. I check out my future phone, my near future phone. <laughs> and I see that I get this message from Cheat Switch. And I respond saying I'm on my way. And as I do, my cybernetic legs kind of expand at the feet, almost like, like spider legs to brace myself for the impact of hitting the ground. And I land right on the ground. And in an instant, I spring up and begin running in the direction of Cheat Switch. All right. And where does the text message find Sunny? Oh, I'm just uh, <clears throat> at a boba shop. Um, just getting a, getting myself a boba. And I get the message like, oh, well, she needs me. I'll get her a boba too. And so I buy one. What, what boba? I need to know what flavor. Oh, for me, <laughs> I'm getting a, a taro boba with pudding and jelly. And um, I don't know what cheat, cheat switch always has a, always wants a different thing every single time. So I never like know. I think um, but she always, she always goes for extra sugar. Yeah extra sugar so like i'm like hmm, maybe she'll like the same thing i'm having and if she doesn't want it then i can have it so <laughs> so i get the same thing only like sweeter perfect uh and you head back onto this to the streets with two things of popa <laughs> just casually walk them down yeah <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right. And where does, uh, this message find Kai? Uh, what time does it, of the day does this message come? This is, uh, evening. You're, it's just about, um, about sundown. Okay. So, finishing off, uh, today at the, uh, mechanic shop. Hasn't left there yet kind of still working on this last bit. Ping goes off. Uh, brings it up my uh, arm display because she's got a bunch of uh, uh, tech embedded into her left arm so that you can view messages and stuff while working on the insides of a car. It comes up. She wipes uh, her face, gets a you know, streak of grease cross, and uh, Oh, okay. That's in half hour. Let me just get this one adjustment done and I'll head out. Yeah. You easily do your last adjustments and your supervisor kind of like pokes his head in. Just kind of, hey, you're off the clock. <laughs> All right. Sounds good to me. And you head out into the streets and where does the message find Renato? So uh, Renato is uh, currently a part of the gig economy. And so he's actually at an airport terminal in his uh, custom ride, uh, about to pick up someone from the airport. And uh, as they finish packing up their luggage into his car, uh, Renato sees the message has a bad feeling about it, so he thinks it's kind of emergency. So he just takes off from there, uh, uh, forgetting about uh, who he was supposed to pick up, but still having a hold on their um, luggage. And so uh, he makes his way over to the 
<laughs> Arcade. Without okay. hesitation. Yeah. Um, so with someone's someone's luggage in your in your car, um, you drive off back from the outskirts of the city where uh, it's a fewer lights, more open space for the airport and coming across the large towering uh, buildings made of steel and glass and bathed in that familiar neon of Archon that calls that you call home. All of you converge at the Pinhole Arcade. But the arcade, normally lit up by several uh, consoles and machines, everything from those grab machines to old school pinball machines to uh, the more newfangled, uh, the newest of VR uh, that has come into play here. Um, it's usually super bright. You can see it even just down the street of this fairly um, now around evening time, quieter shopping district. But it is dark. And all of you converge here in your various transport modes. And there is no cheat switch to be found. Oh. This is awkward. I didn't know there was going to be so many people. I would have, uh... Am I in a group text? Who nope. are you all? Uh... Hi, my name My name is Sunny. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for Cheat Switch. Is, is she... He, is she here? I'm also looking for Cheat Switch. I haven't seen her. Yeah. How how do you folks know Cheat Switch? Trade uh, favorites every now and again. I uh, just got her text. All right. Yeah, I got a text as well. I'll pull up my uh, display on my arm. Looks like we all got the same message. At the exact same time. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's not suspicious at all. No, not at all. I'm, I'm going to just Are start we, now. Um, like, oh, oh. Cheat switch! Oh, hey! I, hey! <laughs> you in here? As you go to... Uh, as Sunny goes to yell, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 stop! Is it just us in here? I'm going to... Uh you, you look around, um, again, this is a normally bustling shopping district, um, and a lot of small stores, um, some of them f selling refurbished parts, some of them um, are, you know, more local grocery stores. Uh, I mean, it is past sundown, but you would expect more people to be out and about, walking, hanging out. Um, but it is quiet. Something seems off here. I want to take a quick scan of, yeah. of, the, of the space. Um, I have the data gatherer trait, and it does have tags for um, surveillance. Yeah, OK. Um, so. And information. Yes. OK. So um, I'm going to, so what are you trying to glean from here? What are you trying to look for exactly? So I want to take a look around for cameras and other people who might be hiding in the area. I want to take okay. like a casual stroll okay. to see um, if there are people here. All right. That is going to be a difficulty of three, okay. uh, which is, you mean, three successes. Um, yep. So. You will always have one die to roll. Yeah. And so I have information, secrets, and surveillance. So I'm going to roll four die. So you have so you have one always, and then you add one for data gatherer, and then information, secrets, 
uh, surveillance, so that's actually five. five. Oh, right. So I add data gather as well? Yeah. Sweet. So I'm going to roll five, and I'm going to add one from my pool as well. Okay. All right. Yes. So um, my pool is now at six. Yeah. Because I lost one. Heck yeah. So with that success, um, you look around um, and uh, you look up and down the, the electrical poles around here and you see um, you see a camera up there. Um, this one looks new. Um, most of the cams uh, in this uh, around here are um, fairly old. They've been put in there several years ago to for whatever corpo's surveillance purposes. This one, though, you can see the shine of the metal. Um, it is not scratched up. It doesn't have bird poop on it. It hasn't seen the weather. This has been installed very recently. S S Sunny, was it? Was that your name, Sunny? Yeah, that's me. Hi. Let, let's. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Let some something seems off. I don't think I'm the only one to notice the, that. I'm gonna yeah. casually point to the brand new camera, fresh like your boba. All oh. of you, uh, as as uh, Raven points to it, note this very new looking camera. I don't look, like I don't turn my head, but I do definitely give like. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Yeah. So I kind of like, and then I like kind of turn around and like try and look where he's looking at and then just keep on going and just like. <laughs> Uh, super cash. Yeah, super casually. I totally like, oh, I wonder what uh, make and model that is. And, you know, trying to figure out if she knows, uh, like, all the specs of the li of what uh, version and oh. which company's uh, camera that is. Yeah, for sure. Do you, do you happen to know that, Kai? Um, well, you could make I, a roll for that. That feels I, like I a... feel like I could uh, definitely use a few of these. Um, probably, um, Machinery, uh, hacker, insightful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, you could definitely. Uh, so I'm gonna say this is a roll. You're gonna need a success. Uh, you need three successes. Uh, what trait would you like to try to use? Um, probably designer. Actually, I think. Uh, works really well with that. Under under hack. So, are you going to use Hacker Maven then? Hacker Maven. Okay. So, Hacker Maven, um, and then you use uh, Designer. Yeah. I could say that works. Um, yeah. Any other any other tags under that Hacker Maven trait? Um, I would say, um, I would say Hacker also works here. Yeah. You would, that's you would kind of the basis know. of what what this is. Yeah. So that's uh, four dice. Uh, unless you would like to add one from your pool as well. Uh, no, I think I'll go with four. Okay, so you can roll those four and then we'll see what we got. Nice. Uh, also, uh, there's been donated re-rolls. So if you would like to, ooh, that's only one success there with that five. Would you like to use a re-roll as had been donated by chat? <laughs> no, I think I'm good. Okay. Yeah, you don't know what this is, at least from this distance. You feel like you could get a better understanding of it if it wasn't, or, you know, like... <laughs> it's possible maybe this is just a new prototype thing, and that's could why I've never that. seen it. Totally. Yeah. yeah, but you know it's new. You could get better look at it later, but... I don't really want to climb up to go view it. Yeah, but I can tell, yeah, that, that's not a... That's not a standard issue, as far as I know. Mm. Okay. The other thing you know is that the surveillance camera is pointed right at uh, the pinhole. Hmm. I don't know about you, but uh, I think that be probably a good idea to go inside the pinhole, but uh, I don't want to go in through the front entrance. 
Yeah, I agree. Let's uh, let's go around back, but maybe not as a group. Yes. How do you how do you stagger your? I'm just gonna start walking <laughs> off. I'm gonna walk off before anybody else decides to start. Okay. Oh, I thought you would just start climbing up. I, I feel like climbing might be a little bit too suspicious. As much as I want to just like jump, I'm just gonna walk. So you walk and you do a big old a big circle. old circle. <laughs> <laughs> what about the rest of you? How do you casually get to the back? So uh, Renato is going to actually just get in his car and drive around the block to the back. Um, his relationship with Jeet, which is that uh, he tends to move cargo for her in and out of the city. And uh, so there is a little hidden place where um, people can park in order to deliver or receive goods in a discreet manner. Awesome. Yeah, you easily just drive around. What about, uh, what about Sunny and uh, Kai? Um, I'm going to pull up a map on my uh, display and make it look like I'm really lost. No, wait, that was supposed to take me over here. How did I end up here? And then just uh, pretend to uh, like follow the directions <laughs> on the uh, on, on the map. Okay. Nice. This this super like just like. Oh wait. Uh... <laughs> This is an arc. Is this Archon? It's <laughs> just Archon. How does how does uh, how does Sunny casually get to the back? Oh, okay. So like, oh, while everyone's leaving, I'm like, oh, does anyone want this boba? Oh, you guys are already. Oh, and I guess I have to drink this now, and just like, I just walk straight back there. I, I like I. Just like, Two I'm bobas. already, yeah, like everybody's already gone. I don't want to be the last one who comes in. So I just go straight, straight yeah, back. You just go the... through that, through that side alley that's yeah. right next to the pin, to the pin <laughs> hole and just walk right back. There. I'm also drinking the boba really fast and no one knows that I drank it. Uh, and like, get to the back. It. Like, yeah, I like, thought you had two. <laughs> um, so all of you casually converge into the back. Uh, there is the one um, back door here. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a couple of crates that are set up, kind of as unofficial, um, unofficial like seats for people who like to hang out here and smoke or uh, chat uh, in the quiet or um, back alley compared to the pings and noises within the arcade, usually. Mm -hmm. um, there is a pin pad, um, which is uh, attached to the door here, um, and a, when you do try it, it is locked, <laughs> as one would expect. Oh, uh, Kai, you're, uh, that wrist pad of yours, that data pad, any, any good here? Oh, you're muted. Oh, you're muted. I can certainly take a stab at it. Yeah, this is an old ass pin pad. Like it is. Yeah. It's it's really shitty. You're still gonna have to you're still gonna have to roll here, but it's only gonna be a complication of two. It's like a uh, difficulty of two. It is. It is also probably not a great password considering what type of place this is. One two three four. <laughs> zero 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 zero. <laughs> um. So, um, one just because, um, are you Hacker Maven again? Yeah. Yep. Uh, and which of those tags under Hacker Maven would you like to use? Uh, Hacker? I think this is break? Yeah. I mean, it's literally breaking and entering? Yeah, I'll let <laughs> you use that. <laughs> um... Would I be prepared? 
Maybe do you have all your do. do you have all your stuff on you? I, I still have all my mechanic tools. Yeah. Okay. So prepared. I think that's it. Okay. So five dice. Um, and actually, on the character sheet, there should be a little button to roll, and you can just input uh, the numbers, and it will count your successes for you. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty cool thing that you did there with that. Not rolling. Oh no. Oh no. Roll 20, please. You know, ah, it. There you go. Got it? Input number of dice. Yeah. Awesome. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> One success. Would you like to use a reroll? I just donate it. <laughs> Do it. Use it. You could use it, or otherwise, I'm kicking down this door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I kind of want you to kick down the door. I mean, you can totally hold on to it if you want to. Hold on to it if you want. That's okay. up to you. That's up to you, Kai. I kind of look and be like, a, I guess this tech is not advanced enough for that fancy data pad of yours. So step back, everyone. I'm going to roll up my my sleeves, which Lemmy has canonically made cargo sleeves instead of cargo <laughs> pants. So I roll up my cargo sleeves, which aren't as practical as cargo pants, but I'll I'll go with it. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna kick this door down with my cybernetic legs. I mean, um, oh. <laughs> it's a it's a flimsy ass door, so I'm not even gonna make you roll for this because it's just. It's a shitty luck. All that wind up. <laughs> All that... <laughs> Boop. Yeah, you down. wind up and you can... it, it gives in so easily that you like almost stumble forward with the momentum. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do that. Oh, uh, cl clean off the hinges. Not bad. You know, just in case we have to leave in a hurry. I'm going to walk in like nothing happened. I'm very embarrassed. Um, you walk in, and it, it is dark in here. Again, none of the games are turned on. There is no sound um, that are familiar to you here. Um, the It's also completely empty, which is very eerie for this normally busy hangout spot. Um, normally, there's cheat switch here with, you know, neighborhood kids, um, and, uh, there's often also where a lot of the hackers like to meet up just to hang out when they're not necessarily doing anything. And there is one thing turned on, however, and that is the computer terminal, um, right by the cashier, um, that the, uh, uh, the owners and, uh, people who run this place use to. Keep everything working around here. Hmm. Let me go take a look. What are, what's everyone else doing? I'm going to. Uh, uh... Oh, go ahead. Yeah. So uh, Ren is actually going to pull out a flashlight from one of the many pockets on his travel vest and. Uh, flick it on and start looking for the power switch to bring up more light because uh, this place looks like a nice place to ambush some people unexpectedly. Yeah, Kai is going to turn on the light on her uh, arm array to, uh, to have a better view of just what is here, not here. Mm. Okay. Um, as you flick on lights, you can now see more fully the arcade. It is a familiar layout. Y'all have been here before, um, where it's essentially kind of a ring of all of these games uh, with some tables in the center for just um, people who want to sit and talk and hang out. Uh, the cashier uh, is right by the, uh, the front. Um, you see it right as you would enter the front door. Um, as you shine your light, though, you see um, bits and pieces of belongings. 
you know, like people lose or forget the backpack or uh, a book or whatever else in the <coughs> um, in the arcade once in a while. But this is far more than you expect. Um, you see um, drinks that have been spilled over, um, just leaving a sticky uh, puddle on the floor. Uh, you see um, hacker kits um, laying out on the table, um, which most of you know would no one would ever leave their stuff behind like this out in the open where anyone could take them. Um, you see a few of the stuffed animals and toys from uh, the uh, the claw games uh, set off to the side um, as if they had been taken and then left behind. Hmm. This is, uh, something's definitely off here. I'm going to, uh, kind of like a cheat switch. This is, do we hear anything? No response. Um, I'm actually just going to text cheat switch back <laughs> because I haven't thought about doing that. <laughs> You all have her number <laughs> and your phone. Cheat switch, are you here? And then I'll follow it up with like 10 emojis. You hear, Cheatwitch, where are you at? <laughs> you hear, boo, um, and you see a screen light up. Is it like, like a phone or um, like a? It is a, it looks about the size of a phone and it's coming from underneath the table. And, uh, take a look and see what's there. It's Cheat Switch's phone. Uh, you can tell um, familiar pink uh, casing uh, with a little bunny um, charm attached to it. Hmm. Well, that's definitely not good. No, not at all. <sighs> I mean, I don't. What can we do with this? Can Kai, Sunny, anything we can do with this? I, I'm just real good at running and jumping. <laughs> we should probably bring it with us and see what's happened at Cheat Switch. Although I'm totally grabbing the largest, cutest stuffed animal that I can find. <laughs> uh, what? What is it? Um, it's a it's a giant stuffed dragon. Nice. Maybe I'll grab some snacks and stick them in my my pockets for later. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Man, I, I'm gonna have to fuel you'd up. Be, <laughs> you'd think I'd be better at crane games, you know, messing with machines all day, but I could never get the uh, I'm out of it. So I'm totally taking this dragon. <laughs> the crane games always win. I've definitely been burned by crane games before. Um, do we, we're friends with Cheat Switch? Do we know where Cheat Switch lives? Like, because we 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 talk on the phone, but <laughs> do we have do we do know where Cheat Switch lives? I mean, I would say that you can you could know where that where she lives there. Yeah. So we've got we've come to this arcade. We've all received this text. And when we arrive, it's completely empty. And there's just shit everywhere. And it looks like people left in a hurry or just vanished. Yeah. And Cheat Switch's phone is still here, despite having texted us. So between when we got the message and when we arrived, Cheat Switch vanished at this location. And there's no sign of like a struggle or anything. Not that you can see. Not that we so, can see. So just a clarification. Um, yeah. Were the messages to us on Cheat Switch's phones? Yes. Mm. Okay. And uh, was there anything weird on the computer terminal? The computer terminal, um, you can go and look at it now. Um, 
you turn it on um, or if you shake it out of its um, of a sleep. Um, it's basically just their way of, of keeping track who comes in here and who, who is paid and not um, you see a list of names and you see Cheech Witches in here um, under her code name, of course. Um, but as you as you scan up all of them, uh, the top line sticks out to you, as in the most recent entry. Um, as you look at it, um, it's not the name that ticks you off, uh, but there is a um, a note next to it um, in brackets, uh, which says Zhao Enterprises. Shit. So we don't like Zhao. Uh, Corpos. You would know this is a a, a very large corporation. Yeah. Um, mostly dealing with um, tech devices the such, but uh, with uh, several children within this family, they have branched out uh, into other fields. Okay. Um, I would like to use my business person trait here. Yeah. Um, what, are you, so what are you trying business, to do here? So what I'm trying to do here is try to remember, recollect uh, any conversations with Cheat Sweat about uh, her dealings with anybody from uh, Zao Enterprises. Okay. So um, business person, and I'll use the tags connected and informed. So you get one just because business person. So that's four. Um, four. You were, if you would like to use one from your pool or from your pool of dice, you may add any of those if you would like to. Okay. Um, how many? Um, and this is going to be a difficulty of three, I think. So uh, you'll need three I'll successes. Use, okay. Uh, I'll use one dice from my pool. So okay. five. Yep. And you, we just got cool. a new re-roll for everybody. So. Oh, nice. Exactly three. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. You you think about your last conversation that you had with Cheech Witch when you dropped off, uh, or when you went to go pick up some stuff from her to uh, get out to the more outskirts of the city where she doesn't really hang out or go. Um, and you remember her mentioning um, that she got... Um, she got hit up by a, a Zhao Enterprise um, middle manager uh, who offered her a job. Um, she was vague on the details of it. She she mentioned it was, you know, it's just uh, some weird AI stuff. I don't, I don't really deal with that though. So like, I said no, and also like, don't really want do that um and then also mentioned uh that uh um the the middle manager kind of said whatever and left there was no tension there it kind of was just like a very side mention of this but you remember <laughs> this part of the conversation hmm so she was being uh scouted so uh renato's just standing there looking thoughtfully at the computer terminal and just as loud so i know that uh someone approached cheat switch about the uh, possibly working for sal enterprises um and uh he's gonna start looking around the table and see if there's a business card that got left behind yeah, you start looking around, um, and you find, you do find a, a it kind of bent, um, but it is a business card. Um, it is a glossy black um, on both sides. One side, it has um, the Zhao Enterprise um, logo, um, which is a... Uh, Kind of, it, it is an eye, um, but um, with um, 
branching off of it a, a variety of fractal patterns um, fairly well known across here. On the other side, um, there is a name. You're not expecting this because you know this name. You see the name of Damien Zhao. Oh. The uh, second son of Zhao Enterprises. Oh, it's only the second son. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mean um and even though maybe not all of you have had dealing with corpos directly you've heard of damien and he is known for being ill-tempered at best uh hmm. and alongside this business card there is a written um is an address uh, to a uh, an office building, you know, um, in the neighborhood over. I mean, we can't just stand here all night. No, but we gotta lead. What's that word people use when they say they find a clue? Like, uh, jonkies? Jinkies? Something. I remember a really old program on on television scooby doo something like that tm maybe we should uh maybe we should have that location uh, how, how how do you monitors were like stationary yeah that's when monitors were stationary and they were like really th everything oh. was just thick I mean, yeah like some, the, the that's some retro tech fun yeah, to play with and they but... had this car it was strange those colors like, there was no chrome oh it was like big and rectangular and not much shape and, uh, yeah. like, i don't even think they had dynamic at all no seat maybe no seat you're right i don't think there were seat belts i mean we're not all, like do we know how far this location is from here um you would have a all of you would have a general idea okay. um it's a 20 minute drive. Okay. I can, don't want to use my gel maps. From you? Can we can we carpool over there? Yeah, sure. My uh, license suspension's almost up anyway. And uh, That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> let's, uh, I hate driving. Let's let's hop in Renato's car and, and head over to this new location that we've discovered. As, you, As he's, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> so, so the door, the doors are um, gullwing, so they'll flip up open, and uh, you'll see luggage is sort of like strewn in the back seat a little bit. And he goes, "Oh, just like uh, throw that out or something." I don't. Know. <laughs> you, you, you see, like two suitcases. Yeah, <laughs> two suitcases. <laughs> they they looked really expensive and uh, markings. There's even an address tag on it, but uh, it was like, oh, uh, yeah, just just put put those aside. We don't we don't need extra cargo on this. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's get in there. <laughs> <laughs> so do you do you take out the luggage? It's that's I could stand on top of the car, but that's that's <laughs> that's not my luggage. <laughs> Renato, were you just recently on a trip? No, no. Uh, I haven't left in over a week, two weeks. Uh, yeah, it's just a mystery. I don't know how those got there. And uh, he, he just completely forgot what he was doing earlier. <laughs> he stole he somebody's so luggage. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is, this is. I'm looking at the luggage tags. Yeah, the, it, the... it belongs to a Karen Johnson. And, uh... Hey, Renato, do you, do you go by the name Karen? No, I can't say that uh, I've ever been called the Karen. Mm. Well, that's what these labels are. Oh. I mean, look, Renata, we we all do questionable things. I, I've, let's just let's just let's just go where we need to go. No management yeah. will be involved. All right. So so uh, <laughs> let's just park the luggage in the alley by the other crates. And, uh, 
I don't know. Maybe they might be GPS tracked or something. Uh, we don't want Karen saying? tracking us. <laughs> I mean, everything is kind of tracked. That's so true. we best be we best be moving because uh, I'm gonna remind everyone of the cameras that are nearby. So we should uh, probably head off. Okay. So you start driving off towards this new uh, air town. This one um, certainly more cor- corpos. Um, even as you 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 drive through, you see um, the building shift from um, you know. Uh, still brick and um, cement to that glassy sheen um, of many of the architecture uh, belonging to the office buildings, Um, many of them with large LED screens on them advertising whatever new product is in fashion right now. Halfway through, Who's, who's in the back and who's in the front? This, this is an important question for me to know. I'm in the front. I called oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm in the back. I'm in the back. Cool. Um, Raven and Kai, as you are, as you're hanging out in the back where there used to be luggage, but there is no longer. Um, okay. You look, you look to your side out the window, and there is a car tailing y'all. Going to, uh, well, let Renato know. Hey, I think we're being followed. Might have something to do with, uh, hope this doesn't have anything to do with Karen, but, uh, might want to, uh, take the long way to our, to our destination. I think that can be arranged. Maybe a couple extra uh, lefts. And so uh, Renato is going to um, take a couple of detours, and we're going to call upon the train driver. Oh yeah. Okay. So, um, what is your goal here? Uh, my goal is to lose our tail. Okay. That's nice. going to be. Um, I'm going to say a difficulty of of three. Um, okay. As so, you are kind of getting into the areas where the, the roads are a little wider, a little more nicely paved, um, and a little more straightforward. Okay. So, um, so you got one so drift we'll coach. driver. Yep. Uh, then one for driver. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll use the tags uh, maneuvering. Yeah. Evasion. Yeah. And navigation. Hell yeah. Nice. That's- five. We'll, we'll roll a five. Cool. There we go. There Ooh. we go. Yeah. Nice. nice. So at first you're, you're just kind of going down the straight stretch and it becomes very obvious to you that there is this black car that is following you. Um, but um, as you start to hit up on other traffic, you start to casually shift lanes and you know there's a curve coming up um, which would make it difficult if you were not on the farthest left to get into. Um, and so before this car can keep up with you, you shift into that last lane and turn. Um, and you watch as that black car has to just keep going. Mm, okay. Nice work. Yeah, I've kind of done this before. Glad you're on our side then. It's, uh, I'm glad okay. I'm not the one driving. <laughs> so uh, what's the plan now? Uh, uh, Renato's going to actually head back towards that address on the card. Yeah. Let's do it. As you round, um, you're now getting into a nightclub-esque area. Um, You see, um, especially now that the sun has completely gone down, um, all of these uh, buildings of people um, waiting outside um, in fashions, um, 
that are of this year and of last if you're not quite um, wealthy enough to stay on top of the ever-changing um, clothing trends. Um, but they all catch the lights that seep out of these clubs and even from within the car you can hear the beats underneath thumbing. Um, and as you as you drive by here, um, you now see the address, um, or rather this apartment building. It is not a Zhao Enterprise building. You would see the eye on it immediately if it was. Um, this is more of a uh, multi uh, multi corp uh, place smaller offices, smaller companies that just require a floor or two and not a full building uh, to do their things. Um, but there are certainly, uh, you see three or four corporals guards, mm. which hang out at the front um, and a couple more that are walking a perimeter around it. Would I know any of them? <clears throat> Ooh, would you know any of them? It's a good question. I think um, uh, reputation as one of my traits. Yeah, you did. Okay, I'm gonna say you <laughs> nice. know. You, who, I'm gonna say you know someone. Uh, who is this person that you know? <laughs> ah, dang. Okay. Um, it's like uh, uh, one of the one of the guards that. Uh, who uh, would um, recommend me anytime I needed to pick up an, uh, a job. So we're kind of like acquaintances. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, they, they would always recommend me for whenever they needed a, a, another security type person. So, yeah. Friendly acquaintance. Yeah, friendly mm -hmm. acquaintance. So yeah, you're, uh, this is one of the guys who's uh, who's walking the perimeter, mm -hmm. and you see him as you kind of drive by. Uh, are you parking right at the front? Are you parking off to the side? Are you how how obvious are you making it that you would like to go here? Um, I, I think that uh, Renato is going to parallel park outside of. Um, whatever coffee shop is in the area. Some very and, large chain. <laughs> yeah, you know, like uh, Buckstar or something, I don't know. And, uh, you know, he'll park there and uh, he will actually go in really quick and get a drink just to make it look like that's what his business is here. Oh, but, uh, yeah. So you've yeah. got one thing, <laughs> one person with <laughs> boba, one person with coffee. <laughs> yeah. just, no, I already drank my boat. I oh, drank both, both of them. Boba. I, you drank them already... or ditched them. Ditched them right back at the pit hole. <laughs> we're we're past boba at this point. No, I oh, enjoyed I the first one, and then I, I, like, like what did you got? Because like, one was extra sweet. You got one that was sweeter. Yeah. yeah got, well, yeah. I also put like extra ice in it just in case, like since I didn't know if she was gonna be there, that it would just melt and like make it, like not as sweet. So this is this is some like high level boba theory right here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is the only this is the only kind of boba content you can get with this group. Hundred percent. Hundred percent sweet. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So okay. So we're we're at a at a coffee shop. We're parked at a coffee shop, and we're trying to get into this building. We're, we're yeah we're we're kind of casing the joint right now. We don't know what's in there. All we know is that um, Cheat Switch got a business card from the one of the heads of Zhao, and this address was on the card. Okay. So we're we're trying to figure out what we're doing here. So I think we need to go into the like a back door when the guard that I, I know is like right there and y'all like 
go in while I distract the guard. Mm. Is that good? Like, yeah, we could do that. Try to try to get in behind. I, mean, I, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Would the uh, you can use this if you want. Uh, I hold out the giant stuffed uh, dragon. Will it help with uh, distracting anyone? It's giant. Just imagine a giant oh, version just... of this. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh... Well, you don't want to lose the dragon. You just got it, right? Uh, yeah, but if it's useful, then you know it should get used. True. Oh, I'll take it. Oh, I'll, take it. I'll take, take it. it. I'll take it. I want to take it. it. <laughs> I'll use it. Let's go with this. I'm good. I, I, I take the dragon from her. I have it like under my arm. Um, <laughs> and uh, kind of like time ourselves to where this back door is. Is there a back door? I'm just imagining. I I, would, I, I imagine there's a uh, where you know they would receive uh, shipments from. Okay. Um, so are all of you casually going as a group then? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, is this like is this like a truck door where it's like the door is open and like they can just go through, or does this have to be like a lock picking thing and like? Um, there is a truck door and a normal, uh, oh, right, uh, and a, a normal person door. <laughs> <laughs> a truck door. Okay. No, like you, you know, like the like a garage door. Yeah. Like so, um, like the loading dock. Yeah, door. the loading the loading dock door is shut. Um, so. Also, I don't know if our vehicle looks like the kind of vehicle that would go in the loading dock. No. No. It it's definitely not that kind of vehicle. Yeah. So, so like along the way, are are there any like packages just left out at a door, <laughs> just waiting to be picked up? Oh no. Way. We could put me in a box and shit. No, we should have kept the luggage. We, we, we should have, have kept, kept the luggage. The luggage. <laughs> we should have kept the luggage. That's why I bet. We, okay. It's only twenty you minutes. Oh, it's only twenty minutes away. We could drive back, you, get the luggage, you ditch know, all of Karen's belongings, and stuff somebody so, in the luggage. So chat did give y'all an item slash boon. So I'm gonna say okay. there is a crate, which hypothetically one of you could fit in. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, th this is more like it. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, Renato's going to disappear and head back to the car. But when he comes back, he actually brings a crowbar. And, uh, you know, because smugglers deal with boxes like this all the time. And it makes sense. So he's just going to nonchalantly just crank open the top of the crate. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah this is right by the coffee shop. Um, there's yeah. this crate. Um, I don't know, they left one out. So y'all just have this have this this crate now and we have uh, this crate now <laughs> it's uh i think it, it previously had uh, some coffee beans in it hmm. oh. okay so we could we could ship somebody in there we could uh sunny could could deliver us or renato could deliver one of us uh, alternatively i could i could scale the building Maybe we should do a two-pronged approach, and you can scale the building, and uh, you know we'll drop off uh, someone else. I like that. I think I'm the smallest, aren't I? That's up to you. <laughs> That's up to yeah. you. Canonically, Kai is very short. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so we'll say that Kai is the is the smallest. Small, small and buff. I'm gonna take Kai, one of the you... snacks out of my pocket for my jacket. <laughs> I'm just gonna fuel up for an adventure. Can I have one of those? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take it from the other side for balance. <laughs> I pass it, pass it to Kai. I, I also was wondering. I didn't get to ask this earlier, but are are my cargo pockets this year's fashion, Kiana? Uh, sure. Sure, yes. just because it makes me laugh that that is the <laughs> fashion right now is cargo, sh cargo, cargo jackets. jackets. <laughs> cargo jacket, because because let me change it to cargo jacket. Cargo jackets are in fashion. <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for an adventure now. 
Okay, so, <laughs> so if I understand, uh, Sunny's going to distract the guard off who's doing one of the guards doing perimeter. Mm -hmm. While that's happening, Raven's going to scale the building, and uh, Kai's going to get shipped. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, yes. I will bring I'll bring my car and the crate around to the uh, loading dock in which, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get that crate over. Okay. So I think you you all time this so that when the, the, the one guard gets to the back, he sees the car and he sees Sonny. Uh, God, I don't know his name off the top of my head. Uh... That's just the sound of traffic in these cyber streets. <laughs> I just, that was very well timed. No, you, you honk your horn, and uh, the guard, whose name is Damien. No, know. not Damien. <laughs> no. no. Uh, uh, I'll say Tori. His name Tori. is Tori. Um, and he kind of he kind of looks surprised um, for a second. Goes, hey. Uh, Sonny? What's up? Nah, uh, I do one of those, um, <clears throat> like, uh, you know, the hand against the wall. You know, <laughs> like. What's up? Hey, baby. <laughs> I got you this dragon. <laughs> it made me think of you. So. Having this dude. <laughs> <God>. Okay. <laughs> Please. I. I. Okay. So this. Is, what a power move. Um. <laughs> this is gonna be a difficulty three roll, as you distract this guy by a. <laughs> Cabadon <laughs> seduction. <laughs> this is gonna murder me. Um. So. You get one just cause. What trait would you like to use? I have, um, uh, there's like a, a charisma. Oh, so you want to use charm? Yeah, I'm going to use charm. Okay. Um, so yeah, charisma makes sense. Yeah. What else under charm would you like to use? Can I do like, um, <clears throat> uh, like presents? And then, like, disarming? Yeah. Can I do that? Oh, yeah, you're <clears throat> absolutely disarming him. <laughs> like, hey. Amazing. Out of curiosity, can I assist? By, uh... Yes, you can. So how assisting works in this game is that you can you can give um, a player one of your pool dice to use. Um, okay. And just tell me how you assist. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll give a pool die. And okay. uh, the way I assist is by... Um, just being extra sneaky using my smuggler um skills to just drive and maneuver my vehicle in such a way that it doesn't <laughs> catch his notice okay yeah so that uh he's more focused on um the <laughs> the aggressive uh, the charming. aggressive the aggressive charming and that's <laughs> happening here Okay, yeah, <laughs> you don't need a roll for that. I'll let you do that as your assist. Um, so that's six dice, let me. All right, so, oh man. Difficulty of three. Okay. Uh, is that it? No, wait, how do yeah, I do you, this? If you click on your, if you go to your character sheet. Yeah. Like a, like and you click button. on, there's a little thing that says roll. Ah. Click on that and just put the number of dice. And if you used any from your pool, just subtract from your pool. Cool. We, have, have, re -rolls. Have, we have, have re rolls. We have re rolls. We have re rolls. Please. Have re -rolls. We have yes. re rolls. <laughs> Use one of those, please. So, do I just? I just do one. Just, just. Uh, no, just, just do the whole roll again. Whole okay. Thing. All right. All right. Good. Good. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you to whoever gave us that re roll. Um, that'd be Sphinx, I believe. Um, so you you do this, and I think he's very confused for the first, like, 30 seconds. He's just like, what just, what is happening? I just want to say hi. And now suddenly I'm against the wall with 
Santa Anna as a dragon. Um, with that silence, I think that's when he almost looks over uh, for a second, as if to just like look away. Um, but your charm. You th- can I can I do that? One of the like pull his face, like pull his, like put a finger underneath his chin and hey. like bring his <laughs> attention back to me. Can I do that? Please? Yes, absolutely. So it's as a you really say- long thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> As you, as he attempts to look away, you do that. Uh, you have thoroughly distracted him with your charm. Uh, as Renato, you drive up with your crate. Kai, it's, it's not the most comfortable place you've been in, but also you're kind of used to being in small, cramped spots as a mechanic, so. I, I've been in the inside of smaller of, of cars that are smaller than this. It's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> just imagining all this happening and Kai has no idea this is happening because of the crate. Yeah, she- yeah I'm just like, it, it smells vaguely of, of, of coffee beans in here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, uh, Renata, you're able to go up and, and open the, uh, the um, garage door enough to get y'all in uh, with the crate <laughs> and not catch the attention. <laughs> <laughs> um, Raven, you're you're watching all this from... Where, where are you watching all this from? You see this all go down. I think I've just moved to an adjacent building and I'm preparing to leap from the building to to our target. And, I, and before I jump, I'm, I'm looking down, and I'm just, I just see that that the finger redirect that Sunny has done with the big dragon. I'm like, what? And I, I'm, I'm, I'm questioning our success right now, but <laughs> I'm ready to, I'm ready to leap to the building. Okay, this is going to be a difficulty four, as you are going to be going. One, it's a large distance. Yep. Two, you're trying to hit a fairly smooth surface yep. um, that this building is. Uh, and three, try not to do it without any of the guards noticing. So this is oh, difficulty yeah. four. <laughs> I got this. I'm going to, um, I'm going to make use of my, obviously I'm going to make use of my cybernetic legs. And yep. uh, I do this a lot when I'm, I'm trying to, you know, discreetly enter buildings. I'm actually going to jump and I'm going to, my legs have sort of like laser cutters in them. And I'm gonna actually try to slide through a hole that I cut as I, as I impact the building. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> um, so you have one just cut. Um, what trait are you using, I assume? I'm gonna use, uh, well, I'm gonna use free runner, I think is the one. Okay. And um, what traits under free runner? So, well, I got transforming cyber legs. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think clever might work for this one. I would say so. Uh, tumble. Uh, I don't have leaping or falling yet because I haven't leveled up. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have resilient. I guess because I'm going to be hitting glass. You are going to be hitting glass. <laughs> so I have five right now, and I'm actually going to use a whole. I'm going to use three from my pool. So I'm oh, going to roll damn. eight dice. Okay. Oops. Um. There we go. I'm going to roll eight. Four successes. What we're looking for. Yes. Hell yeah. Nice. Um, so. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to. I think that I also hit a key. Um, I have Hell key yeah. The, I have key of the daredevil. Oh, yeah. You're just like. <laughs> So, so while while Sunny is actually trying to su- seduce Tori, I silently whoosh, leap uh, from building to building, and as I as I'm nearing the glass, my cybernetic legs actually uh, spin at the ankle, uh, cutting a hole. And as it falls, I whoosh, slide right through, catching the glass as I enter the building. Nice, Sunny. Uh, it's only just a flicker of shadow of movement that tells you that something has happened above. And uh, Tori we- is, Tori's having a time. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Did uh, Renato and I establish like uh, a signal when he's, he gets in? 
Or no? Do we do that? I'd, I'd mm. assume I, so. If you would. <laughs> I, I mean, I figured that, uh, you know, uh, Renato would be in. He would close the loading dock door. And, uh, you know, there's no sign of him or the crates. So figure that. It's either that or he might just send a quick text message. Um, once he's in and uh, helps Kai get out of the crate. Get <laughs> <laughs> out of the crate. <laughs> ah, so, okay, so are, are, are they in? Are you guys yes, in? Yes, they, they are in. All right, They're so <clears throat> me and Tori just got, you know, arm on the wall and <laughs> holding his face between my fingers and uh, I'd like to establish that I'm taller than Tori. Oh, so, yeah, like, absolutely. It's like looking down and like, um, uh, and uh, I just like, I'm really, I'm really feeling a vibe between us. Um, but it doesn't look like you are. So I boop them on the nose and then boop them on the nose. And then, like, <laughs> I'll see you later. And then. Pew, pew. It's kind of uh, maybe when I'm not working. <laughs> I'm on the job, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> so Tori's like, technically like, working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, just I, I like walk backwards and I like call me and just like <laughs> backwards <laughs> and like disappear behind the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Tori just has to have a breather. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and that gives you enough time to turn the corner and head in if you would like to. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, the three of you meet up uh, in the cargo, um, the, uh, God, what's it called? Whatever the receiving area is uh, for deliveries. Uh, you see other crates and stuff and boxes that are stacked up neatly on walls. Um, there is a large um, door you assume that leads further into the building. Uh, you also see a, a utility uh, elevator. Uh, but you note that there is a lock to it. Um, but it needs a key. Is it hackable? You would imagine that you could hack it. So Ren's going to turn to Kai. Uh, so uh, I think a utility elevator would probably be the most discreet way to get up the building. Uh, is there any way you can uh, hijack it? It's like it's secured. I can definitely see what I can do. Yeah. So you, you get up uh, to uh, lock. It's, um, it's one of those electronic lock uh, keys uh, where it's not just a mechanical part of it, but it's like it's it's encoded um so it can't just be lock picked by any old uh pick there um but you think you could probably try to hack into it thing with everything being electronic <laughs> i mean i'm more comfortable like building things but i can i can definitely you know poke at it with the numbers and see what happens all right this is going to be a difficulty of four to try to hack this. Okay, so. Dang. <laughs> uh, let's go with Hacker Maven, Hacker, uh, Break. Um, prepared. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess I'll use three from my pool. I'd also say that tools is probably useful here. You probably have the things, too. Yeah. You got, like, that I mean, if nothing wrist, else, my, my display pad. does let me do something. Mm hmm So that's five, uh, I think. Counting suddenly very difficult for me, apparently. Uh, so, yeah, one just because Hacker Maven Hacker break prepared. Tools, that's six. Um, um, uh, yeah, let's go with two from the pool then. So eight. So only eight. Need four successes. 
We have a reroll though, don't we? You do have you do have we a reroll. Have, do, do we have one left? Do we have one one so left? So all of all of you had two. So whoop. However, <clears throat> however many um you uh however many you've used, subtract that from the two. Okay, we've used one so far. Yeah. So now this is that was our last reroll. Oh no, all of you had individual these are all individual. They're, oh. It's not a group resource. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah, I I will uh, reroll that. Perfect. Not quite enough to uh, hack it though. It's just without the f- mechanical component and the electronic component. It's just a very stubborn lock. Oh, well, we tried. Uh, Renato's going to start looking around for a uh, stairwell, but uh, you'll also glance at the card just to double check and see which floor they're supposed to go to. Okay, yeah, so you you check the floor. Um, These buildings are extremely, (coughs) um, even at its at mid-level corpos, they're very tall. Um, This one is on the... uh, 32nd floor. I should have found a taller building to jump from. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, Raven, I think you would have, you would have probably hit, um, probably hit, like, I'm going to say 10th. Okay. I'm going to make my way to that elevator then. Look like I belong because my pockets are in vogue. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> So, um, as you uh, as you got into here, uh, Raven will will cut up to you on the tenth floor. Um, you uh, you find yourself in uh, in an empty office space. Um, terminals are all uh, are shut down for the night, um, but you do hear you you hear. Uh, sounds of people walking around um, right outside in the hallway. Hmm. Wait, is this me? Or... Yes, it is you. Ooh. I probably should hide. Let the... <laughs> they're, they're, do they sound like they're coming my way? They sound like they're walking down the hallway, whether that's towards you or not. Or whether it's towards me or not. Um, I should probably move. What, what's What's near me? Because I, I imagine that I've jumped through a window into this long hallway, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, what do, do I see offices, conference rooms? Yeah, you see offices, conference rooms, all that fun stuff. Is there an elevator nearby, or would uh, that be kind of in the your, center? You, you would have to. You would, you, as you're in here, you kind of see that this seems to be a kind of donut esque uh, setup, where mm. there's this the hallway all around. Uh, there's hallways. That kind of cross in the grid, uh, and you're on like one edge. Uh, you imagine the elevators would have to be on another edge. Okay, I should probably. Uh, I'm gonna try to make my way to one of the offices, one that doesn't have lights on, and uh, try to hide in there. Okay. What All would right. be? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. I think you're you're gonna. You're gonna hit across a whole bunch of locked ones. Mm. Um, I'm just running down the hallway, checking all the checking all the doors. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not noisy at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you do this. Um, so you keep hitting. Uh, and, gentle uh, taps. Gentle taps. Um, and uh, you. You do eventually find one, but at this point, you've made enough noise yeah. that, although they're still far away, you hear someone to, hey, is someone there? Probably take a look. And uh, two sets of footsteps start heading your direction as you finally find the door and- And try to in. hide. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, so what's gonna be the difficulty on, on hide? Um, I'm gonna say the difficulty three just because it is dark. 
um, okay. and you are going to a, a an office space. Um, I have a uh, burglar, so I've got one, then stealthy, uh, perceptive, and qu- would you count quick? I would count quick. So then I have four. Plus so, one just cause. Plus one, oh no, I counted that. So okay, I have right, the cool. one, the stealthy, quick, okay. and perceptive. So what you said, difficulty two? Uh, three. Three? Let's use one from the pool. Okay. Oh, man. You want to re-roll that? You, we, you all just got another round of re-rolls. Okay, so these re-rolls are, are, aren't They're a all group. individual. So, so each of us right now will start it with three at this point, unless we've used them. Yes. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Ble- bless that last donation for the reroll. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I accept failure. Um, okay. Uh, what, does this, what does this failure look like as you incredibly do not hide? Oh, I, I, like, I totally run in and close the door behind me, and they totally see me disappear into the room. Yeah. They open the door, flip the lights on, and I'm sitting at the I'm sitting at the desk. <laughs> you're sitting you're sitting in a cubicle. Yeah, I'm sitting in a cubicle. Working late. Fashion. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Working late. You know these gotta stay on top of these trends. Oh God, um, <laughs> these two guards um, in typical General Corpo's uh, uniform look at you. I think you're coming with us, and they step towards you, and we're going to cut back to the other three. Yep. <laughs> uh, elevator ain't ain't happening here. At least the service one. Nope. <laughs> uh, you would know that there, likely there would be a normal set of elevators just past the door and into the actual lobby. Uh, so, uh, Renato's just going to dig through the crate and look for the packing slip. Okay. And then just uh, pick up an armful of whatever coffee. Uh, uh, bean bags are in there. It says, uh, guys, just uh, grab some coffee. Maybe we can make it up through the uh, normal elevators and we'll just say that we're making a uh, delivery or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so we all yeah. grab some coffee, uh, coffee, coffee bean bags. Yeah. Yeah, we got the <laughs> packing slip and, you know, we'll just uh, go on over and, uh, Look for the main elevators to the thirty-second floor. So you you walk through the door, um, and you are in now a large lobby area. Um, You see the front doors uh, where there are the four guards who are standing out there, backs to you. Um, The floor itself is uh, for the lobby is one of the uh, the nicer tends to be nicer materials just for that. Uh, first look and it's it's stone under your feet um at that clicks as you walk um there are two sets of elevators on either side of you um and uh you see like further in there's you know false trees and uh green walls and fountains and the such and lounge areas uh for people to spend time in uh clearly this is where they want to spend their time uh but you see those elevators um and uh you walk up to it no one else is in the uh is in the lobby with you and uh press press the button and the you hear the ding as the elevators start to come down to you uh it opens up and there are a couple guards in there uh, who are chatting with each other uh, and they kind of startle as they see y'all. So uh, Renato's just going to sort of duck his head and hide a little bit and just make way. He's like, oh, sorry. Didn't 
Didn't mean to get in your way there. Look at it, you know, the weekly coffee run. Refilling the uh, office machines. All part of the work. The two of them look at each other uh, and step out of the elevators um, and it's one of those like, is this the normal coffee? Uh, the other one just kind of shrugs. Um, and they, they start looking at you up and down a little more. Um, y'all don't look like, well, Renato might. Uh, Kai, <laughs> you've got grease all over you still. Um, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, Sunny, do you still have the dragon? <laughs> No, I gave it to Tori, remember? Oh, you gave it to Tori, yeah. Yeah. Um, you sort of look like you would belong, but not as a delivery person, per se. Um, and so they look at each other. They look at all of you. I think I'm going to need a role here to convince them that you are indeed the normal coffee people. Um, I would say, Renato, if you would like to take this on, because you are the person with okay. the plan. <laughs> uh, this is uh, um, so this is difficulty three. Okay, so we're going to use business person again. Yep. And so uh, I'm going to use, let's say, uh, trustworthy face. Mm -hmm. uh, clean papers. You have to slip. Uh, local costume. So you know he is used to working or has experience working in these types of environments. Mm -hmm. um, so what's that for? Yep, and then you add your plus one if you have it, or just because one, if you have it already. Can I assist? Yes! How would you like to assist? A uh, familiar face? You just know everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you just, you look familiar. Okay, yeah, so you can, you give a, you can give a die from your, from your pool uh, to help. Okay. So... Okay. So you get, that's uh that's six i believe if i counted yeah. correctly we'll go with that three success just cut yeah. <laughs> just there <laughs> nice you're squeaking by uh yeah. i think it's just you do the appropriate posturing and like you know that kind of ducky head um and they just kind of shrug Right, have a good night, I guess. And they will step out of the elevator, and y'all can step in. Okay. So so we'll head to the 32nd floor and uh, probably take this time to try to text Raven, just to <laughs> check in and see how they're doing. So as you, as you text Raven, uh, we'll cut over, and Raven, your phone buzzes. <laughs> Ding! Yeah. I'm going to look at them and be like, that's the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I'm going to call. I'm going to call Renato. Yeah. Mr. Zhao, I have two of your security down here. They're clearly not going to believe me. This is a part of no, my fail. Is this, is, this is this is 100% a part of my fail. Like, yeah. I have two <laughs> members of your security down here, and I'm about to kick both of their asses. <laughs> Renato, you, you hear this almost. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, uh, uh, put me on the phone with them. Okay. Jao wants to speak to you, and I throw the phone at one of the guards, <laughs> and I'm gonna dash at them. Okay, uh, please, <laughs> please. Um, so, okay, so, so what I is wanna, your goal here? So I want to. I mean, they know I'm here. I they know you're I, here. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw the phone at one of them, stunning them. And then I'm gonna run, and I'm gonna use my cybernetic legs. I'm gonna slide past both of them, knocking them down. Okay. Uh, so and then I'm you're... gonna make a dash for that elevator. Okay, that's this is gonna be interesting. Uh, that could be difficulty four. <laughs> Try to just... Okay. I mean, you're eating your phone at somebody. <laughs> I, I'm eating my phone, 
at at the 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 corpo security, but I do hit my key of the criminal. God, you so do. I, uh, uh, does that go? That goes to my pool after, right? Uh, it, you get experience for each of those experience, uh, and if you hit five of those, you can level up. Um, um I could I could gain experience or add a die to my. Oh pool. yeah, you can as well. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Um, so I will have, so it's one, cyber legs, fast, clever, unpredictable, <laughs> tumble. Does resilient uh, count? I'm not gonna say for this one. Uh, okay. And don't forget to add free runner if you haven't, because you get it for the actual trade itself. Oh, okay, awesome. Oh yes, yeah. so, so one, free runner, transforming cyber legs, fast, clever, unpredictable. To, I have seven die. Hell yeah, you do. <laughs> Four. Seven die. <laughs> this, this couldn't possibly go wrong. <laughs> As I get six successes. Oh yeah. Oh. So I'm going to toss my phone. It's gonna smack one of the guards in the head. I'm gonna dash forward, like vaulting over the desk in the cubicle. I'm gonna catch my phone, slide right past them. I'm gonna scream "fuck Joe," and then I'm gonna run to the <laughs> elevator. <laughs> You fucking, you book it. Oh. I'm just gonna book it. Um, Renato, on your end. You the phone's still on, the phone's, the phone's still, still on. on. So Renato, on the phone, you just hear a thunk sound and then a bunch of scuffling. <laughs> and then you hear, fuck yeah. <laughs> a little too <laughs> loud <laughs> for your to your ear. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just like. Uh, uh. <laughs> We'll meet you on the 32nd floor. Um, hope everything's okay. <laughs> All good. And I'm just going to run. Yeah, you run. You you get to the elevator. You push the up button and uh, you quickly get in and you hear the sounds of uh, the uh, the footsteps uh, chasing after you and the sound of, of communicators as they go. We've got an intruder, 10th floor going up, I think. I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely <laughs> going up. <laughs> I didn't say I'm a good criminal. <laughs> I'm not good at this. You're good at the. You're good at the. I'm good at the climbing. running part. I'm good, good at the criming part. <laughs> Subtlety. Yeah. Um, Subtlety is overrated. Yeah, yeah. So with as all that happens, this. The three of you are just listening to the elevator music as it opens on the 32nd floor. And then about 30 seconds later, another door opens and Raven's just looking incredibly uh, disheveled. Took you, I was going to say, what took you so long, even though I'm the last one? Yeah. Step out. Uh, is someone following you? I told them I'm going downstairs. It's fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely being followed. You heard we... all of that on the phone, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like uh, all right, well, uh, let's just get on with it, I guess, and we'll deal with it as it comes. All right. You are, um, the... <laughs> yeah. are we still holding the coffee bags? Yes, If unless you got rid of them. Um, I'm going to just pile them in front of the uh, elevator doors. Nice. It's nice. a trap. <laughs> Coffee <laughs> trap. And still in their bags, or have you taken them out? Um. So basically, are I they barriers or are they ball bearings? <laughs> I, I think. Well, it's like each of us grabbed like four, I guess. So I think most of them, like, sla I'll stack up uh, right in front of the elevator doors. So it's like a little trap type thing. One of them, I will uh, just. Take a knife, open it, and as we uh, start moving, trail behind. This is some Home Alone shit. <laughs> yep. I love it. <laughs> um, okay. So as you are on the 32nd floor, um, which is on definitely the higher levels of this building, um, you note that um, while the 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 hallways this original this initial hallway is similar to all of the others um in terms of the grid format 
um, rather than all of the in-between um, hallways, um, there is just one very large room. Empty? With, um, with uh, well, you, there's still a door between you, um, which uh, definitely has um, a lock pad to it. Um, there doesn't seem to be any other doors, which is weird, because you are seeing kind of, you know, much smaller meeting rooms and such uh, on the other floor. This one just seems to be one big old room. Hmm. You know, we're not a you know, Cooper speak. Is this where they have like that thing they call like all hands? Yeah, usually this is where you would probably have an all hands meeting. You know, when you want to lay off more than like five or ten people at a time. Not that I've ever experienced that. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, uh, just going to look at the card again and then look around at the room. Is there like anybody else in here or any sign of someone parked here? You do not see anyone. So basically, you're out in the outside hallway. Um, and again, there's this one door that seems to lead to one single room. Uh, there's no one else in the hallway with you. Um, and the door um, is uh, doesn't have a window, so you can't see into it. Uh, you can attempt to try to hear or see if there's somebody inside. Uh, but yeah, you can't see within this room. Well, I mean, we we do have company. Should we just kick this door open? And... I'm always down to kick down doors. Can, wait, can I just like knock on the door and be like, hey, I totally forgot the password. Can someone help me out? <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I remember I last like... month's password, but I can't for the life of me remember this month's password. <laughs> or maybe I have last month's password wrong. Um, I... C help? <laughs> I... You hear, you hear a response on the other side, just being like, who are you? Um, uh, cof coffee delivery? Coffee delivery. <laughs> coffee delivery is what you answer? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, what else do we have? I don't... You know what? So, um... There's a long pause. Um, I'm going to need someone to roll to convince this person on the other side that you're indeed delivering coffee and that you were supposed to have a password and you had just forgotten it. <laughs> that they should uh, let you in. Uh, I'll do it. Okay. What would you like to use for this? Oh, God. Um... You got this, Lemmy. Uh... Believe in you. I <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to use charm. Um, can I do? <sighs> um, uh, I guess like charisma, mm -hmm. uh, familiar face, but I guess familiar voice. <laughs> um, and then. I'm going to say this is going to be a difficulty of four. Okay. All right. So. Yeah, just like. Uh, um, yeah. I want to help with okay. the key of the cohort. Ooh. Yeah. So uh, give. They give um, a die um, from your pool. So that'll <laughs> bring you up to five. Right, roll. <laughs> Do you want to add from you any from your pool? <laughs> any from my pool? Yes. 
Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, you've got you've got a you've got six of them left. Okay. Um. Okay. So then you do also have the secret of the lucky break. That is true. Can I use that, please? Oh, yeah. Geez. So that'll be eleven <laughs> times. Eleven dice. What? Uh, oh no, never mind. Uh, you can keep your dice pool, uh, your pool dice when you succeed. So go ahead and use them all. So okay. you have five. How many pool dice would you like to use to add on to that to try to get four successes? Oh, uh, let's add two more. Okay, so yeah. that's seven. Yeah. You want four successes, and even if you succeed, you'll be able to get your dice back. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <gasps> that's one off. I think you have a reroll. Do I? Have I, like, I think yeah, let, let me let me has two more since we each have, well, supposed to have three and some of us have used them. Yeah. Okay. They roll seven. There we go. Hey, yeah. hey nice. Oh, <laughs> thank you for for donating and giving us re rolls. Really appreciate it. Please keep on donating and helping us out with this game. We're gonna need it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need it. <laughs> Let's be honest. As you as you hear as there's that long awkward pause, uh, and then you hear muttering of something about goddamn contractors and <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the door opens up, and uh, you see a very disgruntled looking guard uh, over. Uh, they, they look older, uh, tired. Uh, it, I think it's the getting to the end of their shift. Uh, and uh, you... Uh, behind him, you can see partially um, this... Uh, a smaller... Sub if not the full entire open space, you don't think. Um, just looking at the dimensions. Um, you can see another door behind them, um, mm -hmm. but they seem to be kind of a waiting room situation. Um, you can see nice leather couches and um, a receptionist desk, which is currently empty. Um, and uh, definitely also, you also see a um, what looks like to be a, a, a a coffee set up. Should we'll probably go put the coffee out. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. But uh, you know, you might need to call uh, maintenance because uh, our intern accidentally spilled some coffee uh, and trailed it all the way here, and he's just going to gesture back at the trail of coffee beans that uh, Kai had, had left after he opened <laughs> the bag. Yeah. They look, they, they peek their head out and they kind of sigh. <laughs> Come on and opens the door more and starts to call up maintenance. <laughs> what do y'all do? <sighs> They're calling up maintenance. There's just, so there's just the one guard in this, uh, in this waiting area with us. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to uh, as I guess we're setting. I'm going to help out. We're going to set up the coffee. I'm going to eat a snack from my cargo arms <laughs> um, because using these legs, I, I burn a lot of calories. So you just gotta, have to constantly snack. I'm constantly snacking. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Um, the, I guess that kind of an oddity. You just head in and do the same. Just. Minus the snacking, yeah. maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Taking care to note. Oh, that's that's a good uh, coffee maker right there. And, oh, I could totally uh, make that into not just a coffee maker. I could make it a coffee and ice cream maker if I had the tools and parts with me. <laughs> um, this guard is currently distracted with, um, with a. Uh, dealing with maintenance. I think you I think you hear like a what? I can't hear you properly. Speak up. Uh 
Oh yeah, by the way, there was a really suspicious guy that was just running down the hall. I think he went downstairs. Yeah, this was on the 10th floor heading to the ground floor. I I heard that too. (laughs) But, you know, I heard and he just nudges uh, Raven, but I heard he was pretending to go down to the ground floor initially from the 10th floor. But uh, he actually went up to this floor. But then he got freaked out by all of us here with our coffee and decided to go back downstairs. Yeah, something about an allergy, I think. Yeah. He didn't like hazelnut. Yeah. 10th floor definitely <laughs> is where you should like worry about things, I think. Yeah. Ten, something, I some, something sketchy is going on down there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think he's, he's, I think they're half listening as they're trying to I think maintenance is like, also yeah, trying to talk totally. to them and it's just this like <laughs> so so um while he while while the guard is busy he, he's just gonna say hey raven uh they know who you are so uh, probably be better if you snuck in behind that door and scope it out yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna good idea i uh i'll finish up my snack stick the uh packaging here i don't want to leave any evidence you know me um and i'm going to try to sneak in through the door is is this door locked i'm assuming they have the guard here because it it isn't as no it's, it's not locked yeah so i'm gonna i'm just gonna open the door and kind of sneak in you open the door and you sneak in and this room is not an office space um, you see um, in front of you is what is most of this floor um, but it's dim um, only lit up by several rows of um, what you imagine to be computer terminals Okay. Um, but they're much more larger, uh, more uh, complicated than any you would normally interact with. Um, And you see uh, large screens up against the wall. Between these screens and these terminals that are kind of set up on these, about three rows of these, you see chairs with cabling that attaches to these terminals. With that, in those chairs, you see people all with these cablings connected to them. And on the screens, you see these people reflected back out there oh, doing different tasks. Um, there's a few of them who um, appears to be um, you know, uh, doing normal mundane tasks, walking around the city, um, you know, going shopping. A few of them are going, you see um, what looks like to be uh, hacking. You know what this looks like with their tool set out um, within it. A few of them, you see these, it's flashes of movement. It's like a, it's like a unsteady camera as if through their point of view uh, of um, intense battle simulations as they're in the midst of fighting unknown enemies. You can't see them except just black shadows as they that they try to escape from. Right. So these people are plugged into these servers and are being run through these simulations. Um, That's what do it looks I, like to you. Do I spot Cheat Switch? You don't spot cheat switch from where you are. This this goes down for. It's just it's it's yeah okay. It cool. It keeps um, but you definitely spot some familiar hackers, um, from the Lock Creek area. Right. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, hey, uh, Kai. Sounds like they it looks like they might need some coffee in here. <laughs> okay. I grab whatever's left of, some co- of the coffee and take a tray open the door Kai comes in I'm All just gonna gra- grab that tray and be like 
Yes, the coffee. Thank yeah. you. Whoa. <laughs> The other two of you. I, I, I take the coffee. I take the coffee off his tray and, uh, and drink it really quickly. Put it back. <laughs> the other two of you. Uh, you watch as as Kai goes in as well, and um, the 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 guard is just finishing up his call, and he turns around, notes that there's only two of you. Where do the other two go? Oh, they, they went back down to grab some parts for the coffee machine because uh, it's uh, acting up. It's not uh, using the uh, proper distribution of coffee grinds to the water that's imported. And so it's coming out with some very, very weak coffee. And he starts just going into just random jargon. As a, <laughs> so we're going to call uh, about the, uh, the intricacies of uh, mass produced. <laughs> artisan coffee nice incredible <laughs> so we're gonna so we're gonna use i, I want to hit the key of banter oh yeah um, <laughs> nice <laughs> just add another <laughs> dice back to my pool yeah yeah for sure uh yeah you're gonna have to uh you're gonna have to talk your way out of this just because they were standing in the doorway uh so it would have been pretty difficult for anyone to have walked past them and them not noticing uh, yeah. okay so that's gonna be a difficulty four as you try to convince this, just keep talking this guy yeah. <laughs> out of being suspicious that two of, the, uh, two of y'all just disappeared. <laughs> yeah. So um, we're going to use trustworthy face, uh, business person. So business person, and then the tags are trustworthy face, mm -hmm. uh, local custom, you know, business. I'll, I'll give it to you. Okay. Um, we'll say, uh, can we say informed? He kind of knows. Yeah, uh, he, you, you would sort of know some stuff, yeah. Yeah, three. Um, all right, so that's four. And four, one, two, three, four. Uh, would Sunny like to attempt to help? Yeah. Oh no, it's fine. I, oh, we, so we got five. So five because we got the one just because, mm -hmm. and then uh, I'm gonna say we're gonna use um, two dice pools. So okay. seven. Yep, that's seven. <sighs> All right, I'm using a reroll. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, oh shit. Yeah, I think I you I think you you end up stalling on some like minute details. Uh, okay, so so Renato's just gonna be like, oh god, you're not buying this, are you? <laughs> I think he just kinda shakes his head. Okay. So uh <laughs> so yeah, we're, I, gonna, I take we're, one we're of gonna the... we're gonna we're gonna we're we're hey, we're gonna use another trait. We're gonna use the brawler trait now. As, <laughs> as, as he just throws like coffee beans in this guy's face. Okay. And then uh, and then nice. grab him and uh, use a pile driver move. He's gonna go sand gif on him. Nice. Just to make sure that he knocks him out. Okay. So I'm gonna need. This is again a difficulty four. Uh, Cause this guy kind of prepared for this, like so. The entire talk has become more and more like, all right, like gonna have to go. Uh, all right, let's go. All right, so one just because. Yep. We're using brawler. Yep. Uh, I believe a pile driver counts as brutal. Yeah. Um, uh, we're going fast and hard. Yep. And uh, yeah. I think this qualifies uh, Ren as a living weapon, so that's six. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, and then we'll use uh, two more from the pool. Okay. So, so nice. We'll roll. <laughs> We're gonna roll eight. Damn it! We're gonna re-roll. This is my last re-roll. Okay. Oh no. 
Oh god. What oh. Is this? oh. Oh. Roll 20. He you do hit him. Um I think he's not expecting you to be this fast, but um in that moment, uh he is he struggled against you and in that moment he manages to take his communicator and flip it on and he starts shouting got intruders on 30 seconds red alert as he as he tried to push you off uh sunny what you up to <laughs> i drop all of the bags of coffee that i was holding yeah um and you know what? No, I'm gonna start taking one, like each bag, and just start pelting it at the guy, just like <laughs> one right after the other, and just like try and knock like the 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 cumin- like the walkie-talkie out of his hand, and just like try and aim for that. Uh, hey, I'm gonna yeah. need. This is a difficulty four, as you're also uh, Bernardo's on top of him, <laughs> um, <laughs> and. Uh, you're aiming at a very specific spot. So okay. you need four successes. What are you using here? <laughs> okay, I'm going to do bodyguard, which is uh, disarm. Uh, uh, delay. Yeah. Uh, threats. Can I do that? Uh, you're not really threatening him as much as you're just... Okay throwing stuff at him. Got it. Alright. Uh, can I... Uh, th- no, that's not really like... A... There's this Underworld Traveled. It says steer anything. Like, I'm steering yeah, you this can't, bag. You can only use one trait, though. Into the, okay, okay, got I'm it. I'm steering it. this bag into his face. <laughs> <laughs> that what you were gonna say? Yeah. <laughs> I, I added an arc to the throw, so it'll just come in, come in from the top right. Down. All right, I should have like used something else. Um, <laughs> so I uh, I got you can disarm. you can shift to another trade if you would like to. Mm. It just has <laughs> have to start from the from scratch there. <laughs> I mean, like I could like BS my way through well traveled, because then I'm using a local product to <laughs> steer it towards. Oh the person God. and make it connect um to the walkie talkie making him aware <laughs> that he should evade it but i can navigate that throw towards this this justification <laughs> <laughs> justification oh my god um I just want to give it to you for that creative usage of that trait, because holy shit. <laughs> how, many can, how many can I use? <laughs> how many did you end up using? I, I used I one, like... two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay. I thought there was more than five. Wait, so there, you There's count... more than five. You count the one you automatically get and the one for the name of the trait? Okay, so, okay, here's Underwall Travel. There's local customs, steer anything. Connect, aware, evade, navigate, quick wits, clamber, and mingle. Okay. Right. So you so get you... the one just cause, and then you yeah. get one for well traveled, and yeah. then you get you you did local custom steer anything, connect, aware, enable, and navigate. Yeah. So you have. I'm good. <laughs> so I got seven. I got seven. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh dang, that oh. is not not good. I think Lemmy has one more reroll. I think you still have one more reroll, Lemmy, yeah. if you would like to attempt that again. You know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it sit. Um I just I throw it and like <laughs> Renata, the bag you comes uh, apart. you get yeah. One of pelted. the bags ripped apart. Yeah. <laughs> Renata, you get pelted <laughs> by coffee beams. I'm like really? <laughs> <laughs> and so where, 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 he's, 
It's just, oh, it's just like, uh, yeah, like the, the beans are quality product, but not the packaging. And just like, it's, I can't do anything about that. Um, you just, just help me knock this guy out. <laughs> do you need any help out there? Yeah, we, we've been, uh, we've been made. <laughs> Uh, you start to hear uh, footsteps down the hallway. Uh, Do we also start hearing, like, alarm sounds? Uh, you don't hear the... alarm sounds, but you see, um, as the lights within this room go red. Uh, I'd like to barricade the door. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, in the meantime, uh, Sunny has to maneuver step over the two guys that are wrestling on the ground. <laughs> yep. <laughs> to, ba- to barricade this door. Yep. <laughs> just like, excuse me, sorry. It's just like trying to walk over and like excuse me, lock the me. door. Excuse in. me. Excuse me. Coming through. Yeah. Uh. Just... <laughs> okay, oh. you start barricading the door. Yeah. Uh, let's come back inside of the the large mm, simulation room. We'll call it that. Yeah, Kai, I this this doesn't seem right. I'm gonna assume this conversation yep. happens before we hear the scuffle, the coffee yes. scuffle. Yes. <laughs> Kai, something doesn't seem right here. Yes, that's an understatement. I don't. Should we just start unplugging people? I'm worried that could damage the people. So, okay, what are we gonna do then? We were we're starting to hear alarms. Things are, you you oh. hear scuffles outside. Uh, the the lights turn. Red. I heard. I, I think I heard Sunny scream something about local, <laughs> like local coffee. I I um, they might need help out there. What are we gonna do? I think I want to go to the nearest terminal. Okay. And I think I'm just gonna mechanic it and uh, see what I can do to it. Hell yeah! All right. Um, this, so you're if you're trying to understand this uh, difficulty four, as you try okay. to understand what this machine does exactly and it's all of its interworkings. So yeah, um, so mechanic, just cause, uh, let's do... So Kai is looking to see what the machine does? Yeah. Okay. I have data gatherer as a trait as well. Yeah, you can, you can attack it on different, different ends. So I can roll seven. I don't know if maybe this, this room is also connected to the outside, so maybe I can like shut it off, but I have to figure out what it all is first. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll wait until after your roll, and then we can uh, kind of move from there. All right. So, mechanic. I've got my my tools with me. Yep. Uh, let's go with disable, and then machinery. Mm-hmm. And then you add the one just cause. Uh, and then just cause. So that's five. I think so. Um, and would you like to add more from your pool? Um, the music cut out at just. The can moment. I use key of the tinkerer? Um, key of the tinkerer. If you just hit that when you to get XP by doing something, it doesn't add anything to your. But if okay. you if you like this to to add to your pool dice, I will allow you to do that. If I will allow you to do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. And I. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Use uh, two for my pool. All right. We all just got another reroll as well. How many? I think you have two now or three? Uh, uh, Kemi has uh, three now because we uh, our right. max should be four. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm trying to remember how many dice at this point. Uh. So you had a two for your, uh, two for your pool, um, one just cause, mechanic, uh, tools, fish, uh, I think you're right. 
Uh, I think you're at eight. Oof, nice. There you go. Got it. <laughs> you, you get down onto this, and what does it look like in your mind's eye as you start to figure out this machine? How do you, how do you end up doing this? Um, Kai, it doesn't, it isn't, she dabbles in hacking, so that's not really her thing, but machinery, that's what she understands. She understands how all the uh, bits and pieces of uh, the, the uh, mechanics work, how, you know, building uh, this part of this engine makes it more, this much more efficient, and you kind of uses that knowledge to be like, oh, this part, they're using these people as like an engine part for this. They're using these people to, uh, you know, make this part of this machine more efficient and like, so she sort of stops thinking it as much of people, even though she knows she should. She definitely sees it much more as a machine all in its whole. Hell yeah. So as you, as you, as you play around with these pieces, you finally, as you pull together, uh, pull apart wires and um, take off a panelings, um, you find uh, the, essentially, uh, the emergency switch off. Um, it's not a button, you have, it's one of, you have to like, cut certain cords and stuff, but you know how to turn this off and without hurting uh, the person. Nice. I want to I want to quickly use data gatherer just to see what what it's doing. So we know yeah. how to turn it off. I want so I've I've already calculated all my dice. My base is 7. What's the difficulty to learn what this machine is actually doing to these people? We know how to turn it off. We know how to free them. But I think before we do that, we should try to uh try to figure out exactly what this is doing and what the Zhao Corporation is, is doing. Yeah, sure. Um, so what is that role? Uh, I'm going to use Data Gatherer. Yeah. Uh, so I have seven dice. Oh, okay. Uh, what's what's the uh, what's the value I need for success? This is a four as well, I think. Okay. This, you've never seen a machine like this before. Oh. You have um, rerolls. I I'll reroll. I think so. I've used one, so I've got three left. Mm -hmm. So I'll I'll do that right now. Uh, four. Okay. You look at this, and you look at all of these screens of these simulations that are projected up. It's weird to kind of see this happening. Um, and you look down, and you see all of the way that they're that all of these people plugged in all around their temples, uh, also taking their heart rates and along their, um, alongside their arms as if to see their general forms. And as you watch each of these simulations start to kind of loop almost, um, you kind of, you see the, the terminal react every time that a loop ends and you see a whole bunch of data points scroll up on it. Oh. They are trying to, and as you read and you put everything together, you realize that they are attempting to, or Zhao Enterprises, or Damien at least, is attempting to put people through simulations for machine learning, mm -hmm. to feed that data into a larger artificial intelligence as a whole. Now I'm not I'm not a computer guy, but can we download this data? Or is this just constantly feeding into this uh, this AI? It seems like it's constantly feeding. Like after another loop uh, ends, you see another of that feed of data go through. It so seems to be this kind of iterative process. Kai, do you think you can get these folks out of here? I think Sunny and Ren need a little bit of help in the other room. I think so. At least I figured out how to turn this off uh, safely. So by by now, I've, we've heard the coffee struggles. 
I'm gonna go into the other room and what what do I see? What does what does Raven see? <laughs> you see Sunny awkwardly barricading the door uh, as there are now at this point there was bang outside from uh, guards. Uh, you see Renato and the guard totally on the floor still. Uh, the communicator's out of uh, their hand, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, so was uh, so was their weapon. But there's that struggle going on. What kind of weapon does the guard have? Uh, the guard has a, uh, uh, I think a, a uh, it's like a baton like a, or something. Yeah, but with a you think probably uh, taser uh, capabilities. I'm gonna pick it up, flick it on, and walk right up to the guard and just poke him with the taser. <laughs> While he's tussling with Renato. Hopefully Renato doesn't have any like conductive cybernetics. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna say you can do this just because he's not, ex- the, the guard's not expecting you. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna zap him. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <Renato. laughs> like, you, you, I'm gonna hold out my hand and be like, you okay? Renato's just gonna take the hand and just get up like, yeah. Up. Yeah, that, uh. Nope, no one saw that. That was really embarrassing. No, this, ne- this never happened. No. <laughs> but, uh, Sada, you can feel, um, the door, uh, not. not giving way quite yet, but you don't have a ton of time. Just. Ah, oh, just like, um trying to to like what am I doing like you were trying to barricade the door yeah I'm, I'm I'm trying to barricade the door and like they're just trying not to like uh make it sound any worse than what we're doing <laughs> so I'm just going on about coffee and needing to buy local and supporting small businesses and that you know big businesses should help out little businesses and that you get a higher quality with you know with love as you barricade like just something about coffee like you just you just keep talking at them as Trying to break down the door. Uh, yeah, I'm just like I'm just trying to like make it sound like we're we're not doing something worse than than what they think we're doing. So just like going on about like supporting small businesses, like and um, <laughs> you hear you you hear this like open the door. <laughs> uh, I I just like oh man, like I'm I'm. I no, I can't do that. Like, yes. I just the, you sound like really mad at me for wanting to support small businesses, and it's it's making it's making my 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 stomach rumble. And I like you know when I get nervous, I, I tend to fart a lot, and <laughs> I'm just I don't know if this is a good idea. And I'm just like, just, just keep on going. I just keep on going. I just keep on going. Yeah, like that. Hey, I, 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 I do want to roll for this. I <laughs> Amazing. <hear> too. <laughs> just pull your way out of this by being as, as disarming as possible. As clearly a local coffee enthusiast who <laughs> farts a lot. When who there. farts a lot. <laughs> Oh, like R- oh. Renato is looking up from like robbing the uh, security guard, taking the guy's badge, and uh, searching the pockets for any keys and such. But when when Sonny gets to the part about farting, he, he pauses and just looks up like, "What? What? What is this? I had two bobas today. <laughs> I shouldn't have that much milk. <laughs> I regret it. <laughs> this is God. a real thing." <laughs> I hope, I, I hope you roll all above fours for every single. <laughs> yeah. So this is a difficulty. Difficulty uh, four, I think. Can I? Can I help aid? How would you like to aid? So I have to. I have to give pool dice, right? Yes. 
Okay, so I have, um, where is it? Right, you, you can just say what you do. Oh, okay, so I don't have to use a thing. I'm gonna yeah. Ada be like, it's real stinky in here. Let's just wait until this dissipates and talk it out. <laughs> okay. Let's talk it out and while we do that, I'm gonna just, like take the baton and stick it through the door handles as like a- Yeah. As like to bar Perfect. the doors. Okay. All right, so you got, um, so that's an additional pool die for you. So we'll say one just cause, and then you got your additional eight die. Uh, what would you like to use, Sonia? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of freaked out there and said whatever that came to mind. Um, this is me as Lemmy freaking out. Uh, but let's see. Um, you just gotta bullshit me. <laughs> you just gotta negotiate. I'm gonna. Oh man, I don't know. If, I'm gonna use. Uh, I can mean, I use... you could use you could use charm. Um, I don't. I don't think it's charming, but farting, farting. <laughs> you, 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 uh, well, I mean, charm is sort of uh, just could be witching someone. You're 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 charming them through uh, being incredibly self-deprecation and uh, you're yeah. You're 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 being charming in the sense that like you're doing them a favor. In the way that a puppy is charming. <laughs> that incredibly disarming way. <laughs> I would say that. Um, okay, I'm gonna use charm. Okay. By having a commanding presence that will disarm the the guards from wanting to break it. That's, that's all I got. I got. Yeah, that works for me. So that's six. The six. Okay. This is a four. You want four successes. And does this count the the die that I also gave Fleming? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah, that's it. Uh, can you, I reroll? Can you, I? Can you, I? You, I think you still have a reroll. I think you have one. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a moment where you know it's just so bizarre sounding that it has to be true. Like, you know that? Like, it's, like, it's so specific and weird that it has to be true. And there's a pause. Oh, and the guards kind of stop pushing against the door. So. All right. But, uh, we'll be right here. Yeah, yeah, we, we just got to clean up here. Uh... Okay. In the meantime, uh, <laughs> like Red is just uh, trying to uh, tie up the uh, the guard that's unconscious. Yeah. And uh, just securing him, and he, maybe you just see Renato sliding him back under the desk. <laughs> yeah, under the receptionist desk. Yeah. <laughs> under the receptionist desk, just to you know keep him out of the way and safe. And uh, all right, uh, what do we got here? We don't have much time. Uh, well, how how's Kai doing on uh, unplugging all these people? Um, Kai, uh, we'll come back to you. You're you're getting like a good third of the way, I think. Uh, there's about um, I'm gonna say there's um, 21 terminal set up here, so you've got like one whole column down. Um, and these people are still, as, as you unplug them, they're not immediately conscious, but they're stirring and they're kind of, you see the, the first ones that you unplugged kind of starting to get up like, what the fuck? Um, and as you turn, you see, you see uh, Cheat Switch uh, hooked up to one of these. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you can go and unplug her next. Um, as you do so. Um, and I'll tell the people that are like starting to kind of come to uh, in the other room is coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That'll help you out. Um, yeah, they, they look really confused and disoriented. They're looking at the room as if they've never seen it before. 
Um, and they they look at you and they they see that you're not a you're not a, a corpus and they kind of nod and will walk out into the other room. Uh, y'all see a few hackers walk out uh, looking extremely confused. Yep. I Look, there's no, no, no time to... We don't have much time. We gotta get you out of here. We'll explain everything when we're outside of the building. Um, and as, as the door opens, uh, Renato and Sunny, you can see this terminal room and you see Kai working away at it. Ha- uh, about a third of the terminals are now dark. Okay. Um, is... Renato's going to appear in. Is, is there any other exits out of this room in particular? Um, you, uh, you see, you don't see a, a like a obvious door. <laughs> um, but as you as you peer around, uh, you note uh, just the finest hairline crack of a uh, what looks to be a, a a loose panel in the wall. Okay. Um, Bren's going to just uh, go head over to that panel and uh, try to strip it out open. Uh, you you walk over. You have your crowbar still, I assume. Yes. Uh, yeah. And you uh, pop it out, and uh, you see that uh, there is a hidden door here. Oh. Well, I mean the. Utility elevator has got to come up here somewhere. Um, so, uh, my friend's just going to say, Hey, I found a hidden door here, and uh, he'll just uh, open that up to try to see what's inside. And yeah, you see a very small corridor and the service elevator. Okay, cool. Um, hey guys, there's a service elevator over here, and uh, Ren will dash over to it and try to call up the elevator using the guard security pass. Oh yeah, you have the guard security pass. Nice. Uh, so with that, you are able to call the the utility uh, elevator. Okay. Um, all right, guys, we should start ferrying people through this area, and uh, he'll just motion over to send the uh, hackers. Uh, once you hit the street, you're on your own. But uh, there's a lot of you, so there's only one guy named Tori. <laughs> might uh, might be really from earlier, so you're cool. Just to, you know, get out of here and you know, stay out in the open as much as possible. Do we like uh, close the door behind us in this room and like barricade that as well? Uh, uh I think we just gotta go, get that yeah. elevator, and get out of here. Um. Could we, is there, could we wake up Cheat Switch and ask her or get, would she know like how to like release everybody like at the same time so we could just get more people out the door? Um, so Kai, you finish, wait, you finish turning off Cheat Switch's um, thing and a couple minutes passed before she's conscious enough to really talk or think. Um, and she, she looks to you, Kai, she's like, hey, 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 what, what the fuck, um, and she starts getting up, and she's, like, immediately kind of going to her side to look for her phone, and she's just, like, uh, and she, oh, don't worry, we have, we have your phone. Oh, cool. She's like, you, you remember me, I, um. Steel Phoenix, uh, the might handle, remember? Right, yeah. The, the um, mechanic, the, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, those your, uh, the tech builds. Yeah. Uh, what, what is going on here? Uh, she's just, like, kind of spinning around and she's just realized. Um, I mean, I don't really have time, but quick story is, uh, Zhao is kind of, uh, doing AR farming with hackers. Oh, cool, great, great, cool, cool, cool. Um, do we have a way out? Well, I mean, there's a door right there. I, I, I'm just trying to get everyone awake and 
then I, I guess I'll meet up with everyone else outside. We all got called to meet up with you, actually. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll help you with that. And she's kind of like, she stands up and she wobbles a little bit. She's like, and she just starts kind of looking at these these terminals and starting to double your time in getting people out. <laughs> let's let's get out of here. We're gonna start like ushering people into this elevator before they get in. Yeah. As, as you get to like the final few uh, people out, you hear the the door start the bang at the door starts like come on. Um, I want to start kicking all the terminals. Okay. I want to I want to I want to destroy this shit. Oh yeah, you can destroy this shit. Uh, anyone want to help destroy this shit? Yes. <laughs> yes. Do I have to roll to des- to destroy <laughs> I corporate think, I think corporate you can assets? Just, I think you can just destroy corporate assets. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to use my secret of destruction to help with the uh, destru- destroying of yeah. these uh, terminals. <laughs> how, how do you utterly destroy some of these? Do you just like? Well, I have those 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 laser cutters in my in my yeah. feet, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this big sweeping kick and return all the lasers and whoosh, cut through things. Nice. How does how does Sunny destroy some of these? She takes the coffee beans and smushes them into like all the all the, the ports. All the ports. <laughs> Like subtle, crunches Super. them in. Yeah, yeah. So you start to go. And, and how does uh, how does Kai just dis- utterly destroy these? Oh, so Sky is actually kind of jacked. She just starts tearing Hell off yeah. uh, like cables and, ha- and giant handfuls, and like smashing through uh, screens Hell with yeah. fists. Y'all destroy corporate assets. Super oh, well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ren's just swinging his crowbar into everything. Yeah. And just yeah. tearing things out. As as the last of the people go down the utility elevator, and it's just you and Cheat Switch, uh, the terminals have been utterly wrecked. Um, you finally nice. hear the, the door starting to be broken down as time is up. Y'all can run over to the utility elevator and head down. Um... As you do so, you 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 just you hear the the, the crash of the door uh, as you um, as the elevator doors close and you head down to the first floor. Um, and uh, and she switches just kind of like, okay, okay. Well, I was just kind of expecting to do like a cool hangout with y'all, but this. Where's a night? Yeah, that happened. But uh, yep. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll go to a different arcade next time. Yeah, y- you know that that might be nice. Okay, and uh, you see um, the uh, you see the the elevator doors open up. We should probably make a getaway. Yeah, my car's still in the loading dock, hopefully. And uh, Ren will um, switch the uh, emergency stop on the service elevator so they can't just call it back up and uh, just start blitzing for the car. Yeah. So y'all head to the car and dive in. Um, It's a little more crammed with cheat switch in here, too. Uh Good thing we got rid of the luggage. And uh, as y'all pile in, uh, Renato, you can get that. Um, you can get that <laughs> car going. Uh, where are y'all driving to? Anybody hungry? I am. I, I can use some boba. I don't want boba. coffee. You know, pho sounds really good right now. Oh, yeah. Cyber pho. Yeah. <laughs> Let's let's do that. Yeah, yeah I know. It was. Sounds good. All We're right. far away from here, right? Oh like yeah. Other yeah. side of the town. Great. Yeah. Let, let's go. Yeah, white people don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> and as the car drives off with all of you, 
Another corpo spoiled. Another successful night of entertainment finished. That's where we're gonna end we built this city. Hey. Oh boy. <laughs> Plenty of coffee and talking your way in and out of stuff and cool corp defying shit uh, today. That was awesome. Love that. That <laughs> was great. That was great. Yay! Oh, right. Um, we're gonna tie up some stuff here, uh, do our final giveaway polls and all that fun stuff. Uh, so enter that giveaway if you haven't already. Um, but uh, before that, I'd like to go around and say hello to all of our wonderful people. Uh, tell us who they are, where we can find them on the internet, and their favorite part of today's game. Uh, we're gonna go in reverse order. So, Anino, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you. I had a lot of fun. You know, I, I've been listening to the Asians Represent podcast, so uh, just being able to play with Daniel for the uh, first time is like pretty awesome. Great way to spend again. my Saturday. Yeah, we should. Um, anyway, my favorite moment uh, <laughs> was Sunny seducing the guard as a distraction with a stuffed dragon. That just sort of came out of left field, and I, but I loved it. It, it was just perfect. <laughs> and uh, it, it really set the tone for a lot of what else went on. But uh, as for me, you can find me on Twitter um, at Amino Gaming. Um, I am typically on two channels, uh, typically on the Other Doc channel on the weekends for some weekly streams, as well as the uh, Wandering DM channel for uh, another cyberpunk game that I'm actually involved in, which starts up next week on Fridays. Uh, it's uh, Cyberpunk Ren, um, and I, uh, we're a sponsored channel, so uh, we get to preview and uh, show everybody what's going on with that uh, upcoming release. So uh, best way to ke keep up with my schedule is to follow me on Twitter as well as uh, look at my webpage, which is aninogaming.com. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining, and super last minute okay. too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I appreciate it. It's fun. Um, awesome. And let's go over to Akemi. Hello, Akemi. Hey. Um, I'm Akemi. You can find me on uh, Twitter on at Ninja Penguin AM. Um, I also have made some games. You can find some of those at DoomLegionGames.com or uh, Ninja Penguin uh, Itch .io. Yeah. Um, What's your favorite person. part? Oh, my favorite <laughs> part. Uh, I mean, I absolutely love the uh, seduce uh, the guard with the uh, dragon. So, but let's get a little bit of variety. Um, I'm gonna go with the Daniel's part of, oh no, I work here. And then that whole interaction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I work here. I, I, I work have here. here. Uh, no, phone. I don't. I went to my phone. <laughs> Yay, thanks so much for joining us. This is awesome. Um, and let's go over to Lemmy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lemmy. You can find me on Twitter at Lemon and Honeyco. Um, I have a business called Lucky Hand Dice, and you can also find my business on Twitter at Lucky Hand Dice. Um, my favorite part was uh, uh, definitely. Kiana, thank you for running this game and for letting me BS my way through <laughs> some of the things that I did. So thanks for allowing that. Thanks for being a, uh, an amazing GM and, uh, you know, uh, orchestrating all of this. Hey. I mean, I loved Sunny and all of that bullshit. Oh, Sunny is great. So good. <laughs> all amazing stuff. And let's go over to Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Hey, I'm Daniel. You can find me on Twitter at Daniel H. Kwan. I co-host and produce the Asians Represent podcast. We do all sorts of cool stuff. So you can find us at AZNS Represent on pretty much everything. We're also on Twitch at AZNS Represent, at AZNS Rep. Uh, that's the account that I've been chatting with you folks with. I, I, I have two favorite parts. The first one, I, I totally, I think it fell under the radar, but Lemmy's character downing two Bobas in the span of maybe two minutes. Amazing. 
The second part was that I, I loved seeing all those donations go in, not only because they helped us out in game, but because they're actually going to the Asian American Legal Defense and Education Fund. Um, so thank you folks for, for donating to a good cause. Um, I, uh, I also have a games company, Dundas West Games. We're finishing up our first big title called Ross Rifles, which was actually streamed on this channel. Um, it's a World War One RPG that highlights the contributions of different uh, cultural minorities in Canada to the First World War effort. So check that out. You can just find that on my socials. It's a super awesome game. Got to play it here. Uh, Jason, our friend of ours, uh, ran it for <laughs> yeah. us. It was super good. Uh, so please go check that out. Um, and that just leaves me and the channel. Um, I am Kiana. I am the sweet here on Salty Sweet Games. Uh, I was your GM for today. Y'all can find me over on Twitter at Kiana S, which is the best way to find out what I'm doing, where I am uh, as a TTRPG creator and streamer and shouter into the void earth. Uh, <laughs> uh, but otherwise, I'm normally just here on the channel uh, doing TTRPG and video game stuff. Um, again, thank you everybody uh, who uh, donated today. Y'all are amazing. Um, help me out uh, this uh, charity uh, for fighting for uh, Asian American civil rights. Um, they're doing great work, especially during the time. Uh, so we really appreciate y'all uh, for showing up for that. And also super appreciate all of you for uh, showing up and, and stubbing and all that stuff as well, uh, helping to keep the lights on here on the channel. Uh, if you ever want to see more stuff like this or you want to rewatch this awesome uh, one shot, we have a YouTube channel. Uh, so you can go check that out and follow us over there. Um, and also we have a Twitter account uh, where you can follow us uh, to uh, get um, all the news on what we're doing, uh, whether that's cool one shots like this or impromptu video streams, uh, video game streams, or regular series. Uh, in terms of regular series, we've got a Poke Zulu series on Saturdays. Um, and a, uh, we have a D&D &D, uh, series over on Mondays. Uh, our Witcher series is currently on break, but we'll be coming back next month. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but this was awesome. Uh, I was kind of sad to see how uh, quiet Asian Heritage Month was this month. And I'm happy to kind of close it out uh, with some awesome uh, games with people. Uh, celebrating awesome Asian American folks like these and all of our lovely people who donated to our give uh, to our giveaway. Uh, please go check out all of those creators uh, online as well um, because they're amazing uh, and doing great things uh, in the TTRPG space. I think that's it from us. Um, we'll be back online on Monday. Um, but take care of yourselves, everyone. Stay safe. Uh, stay sane. All that good stuff. And maybe one day we'll see you back in Archon. Who knows? I wave. hope so. <laughs> hope so. All right. Wave bye, everybody. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. bye.